This is Lesson 7a, Unit 11, Strong Acid, Strong Base Calculations. So what we're going to do is calculate the pH points along a strong acid, strong base titration curve. And our first question is, what is the initial pH in a flask of 30 mL of 0.11 molar HCl? Well, this is actually a very easy problem because we know that HCl is one of our strong acids. So it is going to 100% dissociate to H plus plus Cl minus. This means that our initial concentration of HCl is going to be equal to our hydrogen ion concentration. And so we just take the negative log of 0.110 molar HCl and our answer is that our initial pH is going to be 0.959. And so this value matches our initial pH. The next question asks us to calculate the mLs of 0.9 molar NaOH, 98 molar, to titrate. 30 mL of 0.11 molar HCl to the equivalence point. Uh, let's write down that we have figured out that this is 0.959 right here. Okay, that's our initial pH. And the equivalence point means what volume was required to get to right here. So we need to know how many mLs of base was required to get to the equivalence point. So our net reaction here, because we're dealing with a strong acid and a strong base, is H plus plus OH minus produces H2O. Now this is a one-to-one -one reaction. And remember that if we have a one-to-one -one reaction, you may use MAVA equals MBVP. Remember, do not use this if the coefficients in the balanced reaction are anything but one. So you go ahead and do this and I'll come back with the answer. Okay, so you should have had that you had 0.110 molar HCl, 30 mLs of it was needed to, uh, to react with 0.0980 molar and then the mLs of the base and then you calculate that that is 33 0.7 mLs. So now what we can do is on our little titration curve here, we can add that our equivalence point here was 30, what did I say it was? 33.7 mLs. All right, next question. What is the pH at the equivalence point of a strong acid, strong base titration? It's always 7. So it's always 7.00 at 25 degrees Celsius. Now remember, we do need to be at 25 degrees Celsius. And that is because NaOH plus HCl is going to make H2O plus NaCl. And the salt has no impact on pH because both of them are conjugates of either a strong base or a strong acid. So the salt has no impact on pH. Okay, our last problem, or not our last problem because we have one more on the next page, we're going to calculate the pH after 20 mLs of 0.0980 molar has been added to 30 mLs of 0.110 molar HCl. So this is a limiting reagent problem. We have moles of sodium hydroxide and we have moles of acid So we are going to set up a BCA table. All right, so I've set up the first part of this. Uh, we've got our reaction here, and 
we have the 20 ml of 0.098 O molar Na sodium hydroxide, and from that we can figure out that we have 0 0.00196 moles of the hydroxide and 0 0.0033 moles of the hydronium ion, just 0 0.030 liters times 0 0.110 molar. So our limiting reagent is the hydroxide. So we're going to have minus 0 0.00196 and minus 0 0.00196. We don't care about the water. Our final concentration of the hydroxide is 0. The final concentration of the hydronium ion is 0 0.00134. Now, in order to figure out the hydrogen ion concentration for pH, we do need to know the molarity. So it's going to be moles of H plus divided by your total liters. Now, you have to remember here to use your total liters. So that's going to be 0 0.00134 moles. And then we have volume from both the base and from the acid. So we had 0 0.030 liters of the acid plus 0 0.020 liters of the base. And we go through the calculation, and that's 0 0.0268 molar. Okay, so this would be 0 0.050 liters. So we take the negative log of that, and our pH is going to be equal to 1.572. Now, key here is remember to use the total volume. So let's look at what we just did there. We said our starting pH was 0.959. We figured out our equivalence point was 33.7. And we just calculated that the pH at 20 mL of base was about 1.572. Okay, so the last part of this calculation is to calculate the pH after we've added 35 mL of 0.98 molar sodium hydroxide to the 30 mL of 0.110 molar. So our equivalence point was at 33.7, so we're going a little bit past that, and we're going to calculate the pH. This is going to be another limiting reagent problem, so I want you to set up the uh, rice table. All right, here's the BCA table, and so we have our final moles of hydroxide. Remember that these are moles, so our hydroxide ion concentration will be equal to 0 0.00013, and remember that this needs to be over the total liters. So this is going to be 0 0.00013 over 35 plus 30 mLs, convert that to liters, and it's 0 0.065 liters, which equals 0 0.0020 molar, and this is hydroxide ion tone. So you're going to have to figure out the pOH, which is equal to 2.70, which means your pH is going to be equal to 11.30. So we have figured out now at about 35 mLs that our pH is 11.30.